going to be focusing on today is finishing up this wall. Uh, the one thing that obviously we have to work on first is the prep on this drywall. The reason that we have this drywall here is because originally we thought we would just kind of tile to here and then this would be painted, but then kind of looking at it as we start to tile this, that it's going to look much better if the whole wall is, is tiled. I'm not concerned that this is drywall because the shower is going to be glass door, glass panel here. That's the shower. This is just the tub. The wet area literally stops right here. There's no shower head, so drywall is okay. It's moisture resistant, but we do have to do prep on it. So I'll show you the prep that you need to do and uh, how to use this primer T and kind of like what you're looking for when you're looking for primers. It doesn't matter which type of primer you use. It just has to be for drywall porous surfaces, and I'll show you that. All right, um, I'm gonna show you how to prep that. I'm gonna show you how to install these 24 by 48 tiles. We have our um, big manual cutter right here set up. I'll show you how to make those big manual cuts. Um, also the shower system that we're using, the, not the shower system, the tile leveling system right here that we have. I'll show you kind of, you know, that whole process is just, you know, your Ruby tile leveling system icons. Love those. Um, this shower system back here is KBRS shower system. And we're just kind of basically going to close it up. So I just wanted to lay that up so you guys can see. Is this going? I'm working on the video, a full time lapse of this whole thing. Um, just basically, if you guys are interested in about different things, you can bounce around and um, see what you want to see. Uh, we already have these two pieces pre cut just because I shot my laser. Um, I put my laser there right through that grout line and then I measured down to actually get this line nice and perfectly uh, level and then with these are just pretty easy pieces but first let's get into priming our uh, wall do we have some people watching yes we do throw me a like so the best way you can help this and kind of give me uh, the confidence that like you guys actually enjoy these videos is just to like them that's the best way to communicate them, like them, share them. Um, I know you guys are giving me feedback. I do read the comments from every single live the day before, you know? So like once I post this one, I'm gonna read all of these comments. And then tomorrow, once I do the live, I'll read those comments. So keep commenting and give me feedback because I wanna do these better. Um, and tomorrow, the next day, we're going to be working on this weird thing where we're gonna have two miter cuts here Schluter ships here because this is going to be a hidden panel that you can remove and then place back just because they want to have access to all their mechanical stuff back there. Not mechanical, whatever, the, the pipes for the, the tub because we're on the slab here. Uh, but that's going to be tomorrow. So make sure that you're hitting that like button, just showing me that you actually like this. Plus, if you do more of likes, it gets this out to more people. And then I can do better with the whole list. All right, so check this out. This is just from Lowe's. It's a Maybuy Primer T. This is what you would prime your, um, like, sub, whatever, floor before you're doing self-leveling or anything like that. And here's what you're looking for. Use over gypsum-based LSUs that are free of gypsum dust. So use over gypsum. So, like, that's what you want to see, that, like, you're actually able to do that. But free of dust meaning you know, this drywall dust. So what we're gonna do is just get a sponge, wring it out pretty good, and then just wipe the sheetrock. Also, Alex is on the phone here, like he's watching, say hello, Alex. What's up, guys? I know so, the comment section's going pretty crazy. Right? Yeah, if you guys have questions, fire them along. Alex, you just gotta read them, interrupt me. Just like, <laughs> you gotta say shh, and then read them. Okay. Would a painted wall on a drywall need prep to tile on by Johnny M? Uh, yes. So painted wall is sketchy because there's basically that little film over it. So what you're bonding your tile to is just that film. So that is sketchy. Um, I usually, when we have a painted wall, what you want to do is get a box cutter and just go Freddy Krueger on it. Just like chop it up. So you're kind of cutting through that paint. And if you can scrape some of it, scrape some of it off. What, if you can just demo it? <laughs> I don't know, that's not a good option, but if you can demo it, that'd probably be the best. All right, just getting some of that off. 
From Jonathan, thank you for providing these videos. They're such a helpful resource for everyone. You're welcome. You're welcome, Jonathan. Jonathan. Oh, I see so we got uh, a couple people from yesterday. Oh, let's go. This, this stream is going to be a little bit longer, just because, one, I don't want to rush. I want to answer questions. If you guys want to leave, come back, whatever. Um, but I want to finish this entire wall and this little piece. We're also going to be bending this um, piece of Schluter around here as well, because it's going to be just a half piece here. I have these veins, that, the, the piece that we cut off. This is one piece, essentially. This and this is going to be like one piece, so this vein is going to kind of continue up. And so it's the little things that nobody will see except me um, and you. Hmm. All right, so like that. Hey guys, good morning from Washington. Good morning from Washington. Bend over, 50 people watching in Four Lakes. Come on, we can do better. Come on, like, guys. That was a few minutes ago. We got 24 now. Let's go 24 yeah. likes. Um, I know some people comment and be like, bro, just focus on your work. I love this. Like, I, I enjoy this. And to me, like, recently we gained a lot of followers. But I feel like this is a way that I can actually, like, connect with you guys. And, like, if you have a question tomorrow, you know I'll be live and you can hop on and ask that question. I don't know everything. I, like, know less than I actually, I, guess, I don't know more than I know. But I know some stuff. So you guys can come back tomorrow or whatever and keep asking these questions. So I feel like that is something, one, that nobody else is doing from these influencers. Um, and I just want to be different. And I enjoy this. That honestly keeps me committed to, like, keep working. <laughs> can you tile over wallpaper? No, I wouldn't do it. Unless... Like, if it's... Like, it's one of the, like if this was my house, like if it was one of those things. If it was my house, I'd tile right over it and be like, it'll be all right. Um, definitely if it's like a backsplash, whatever, right? But like if it's, it's not, a, it's not appropriate, I guess I want to say. Oh my God. Are you making a mess? Would you do that? Can you grab a towel? So I can kind of move it. Move it. So yeah, I, I don't know if, if that makes sense, you know, like, I know you could probably do it and it'll be all right, but it's not the right, it's not right. I love that you're OCD by Judy. Let's go. I don't know if I'm OCD, I may be. I just don't mind going the extra mile, just cause like, you know, we've spent like five weeks on this job, cause there's like some delays, our tile got broken, things like that. We squeezed in another job in the middle of this essentially. But I wanna make sure that we actually, uh, you know, they pay good money for this bathroom, so I'm gonna, we're gonna try to do it right. Plus, I know if I was to tile, you know, all these pros that are gonna see this video, they're gonna be like, all right, cool. But if I didn't do this, I would get mold, mauled, mauled. I get destroyed in the comments because this is what you're supposed, this is textbook right here. You know what I'm saying? It's like nobody will come, like the pros or whatever, they won't come in here and like give you like praise. But, God forbid you do something wrong, they'll come and destroy you. So, like, one, I'm trying to avoid that. On the other side, like, if I did that, that would be good engagement in the comments. But, I don't know, that's not good service for you guys. Ben, X on chat and like video. If you can watch, you can like. The least we can do for him helping us. Yo, let's go. How many likes are we at? Uh, 34. 34. Be huh? victory. Looks good, bro. Thank you. So, what happens if you drive, if you tile... Why you're supposed to prime this, and I actually called a guy that's been doing this for a while, and like, before I did this live, I called him earlier today on the way to work. I was like, can you explain to me the whole priming over drywall thing? And he basically explained that, oh, damn it. He basically explained that uh, the drywall, especially the compound, it will, want, it will suck out the moisture out of the thin set, and then it won't cure properly. That's why you're supposed to do it. It's not really for bonding purposes, I guess. It's just so that the actual thin set cures properly and has the right cure time. That's how he explained it. And I was like, yo, that makes sense. Shout out to Jason McDaniels, the still man. 
He's got a, actually a good uh, Facebook group where he does all this stuff. This dog. Do you guys have any questions? Throw them out. Yes. Alex is on the on the on there. All right. Now we got our roller. Now that you mitered the corner of the tile, do you just fill it in with grout or other material? So if the way I usually say it is like, I fill it in with just grout. So this is not a high traffic area. If you were to do a curb, you should probably do epoxy. But if it's a curb, I never, I, I don't do uh, those. I used to, but it's just too brittle, I think. Um, so if you have a curb, I just use Schluter strips because I think they're, they're just stronger. Or ideally, you just have a nice sill piece. Um, so that's why I, you know, non-high traffic area where you're just putting shampoo bottles, you're not going to ding it. But if you're... Um, Almost pinched my nipple. <laughs> um, I hope that makes sense. Just starting my small business, loving it. I'm learning more. Love it, bro. Thank you. Let's go. Well, I'm happy to be learning with you guys as I'm like, like I literally just learned this yesterday, and I was like, all right, well, I can make a video about that. I feel like I'm decent at, at making these videos, but I was like, all right, let me make sure I know what I'm doing here. PA here. Let's go, PA. Good luck. This is gonna be a longer stream than usual. Usually I'm trying to keep them at like 30 minutes. Somebody was like, oh, because your boss is coming back. <laughs> like, what? No, it's just because like the attention span. But then at the same time, it's like people can just hop around. That's what I want to encourage you guys to hop around. If like you're like, all right, I get it. Let me just hop around to see now how he's installing the tile, how he's keying in the thin set, that kind of stuff. So you guys can do that. But if you have questions or anything like that, ask them. Tomorrow, I'm, I'm honestly like, nervous doing this thing. I kind of, I know what I want it to look like, but it's it's definitely gonna be challenging uh, to making it look nice, I think. Because this has to look seamless, but then this entire wall is going to come off with suction cups. Like you put a suction, I, I told them, I'm like, listen, like I'm not gonna put handles on this. Like you'll have to like, get like little suction cups to pull it off. I might even grout it, because I'm like, if you ever need to get there, you can always re-grout it. Um, just those two little like grout joints or whatever. But I'm mm -hmm. ner nervous about that. Judy, the hubby and I do all this stuff ourselves. It's wonderful to watch and learn the correct way. Let's go, thank you so much, Judy. If you guys have questions on other things you want to see more of, uh, leave them in the comments. We do, we do have, this week and next week, basically, we're still kind of busy with the work. But then after that, we're going to have like a week of just studio time where we're going to be at our YouTube studio. And kind of, I'm going to make a bunch of custom content there. So if you guys have questions about anything, that's where you want to ask those. I'm getting high over here. Hold on. Dang, here we go. From Austin Emerson, because he was also on the slide yesterday. So welcome back. Let's go, oh, Austin. Do you do a dry pack floor? What can you do if it dries wavy? Drives wavy. Uh, you could get mix some thin set, and then kind of compound it. I guess you know, just smooth it out with thin set. Uh, I think that that's how you can do that. Let it dry. You know, put a fan on or whatever, and then if you're using mosaic, you can go back over that. So use thin set over that. It'll be okay. So this is just primer. Um, that's all you need for this. Dang. It smells like like glue or something. <laughs> Don't do this in a closed area. Hmm. All right. I'll leave that right there. I don't want to waste this. Hold on. Let me pour this out. So 
now, I'm going to wait like 10 minutes. What do you bid wall tile A S F? I have always installed wood and carpet and just getting the tile. It, it varies a lot. I mean, we, I kind of do more per day, like depending how many days I think this is going to take versus the square footage. Like, like this square footage is not that much, but like, I know this right here, like think about it, right? Like this square footage right here, it's probably like 20 square feet right here. But this is gonna take me probably a day and a half, two days. So you can't bid that by foot, right? So like, it's really hard to just say like, oh, I'm $20 a square foot. Because it changes so much based on the job. If it's just a simple, like, then it's easier. But like, I, I, I usually when people ask me that, I always say like, figure out what you wanna make per day and then kind of work your way backwards. I think that's kind of the most logical thing to me. Um, on that. All right. So the first piece of tile is going to be that one. We have a pre-cut over here. Jonathan, so are you guys located in the Washington state? What country? I'd love to see your portfolio and maybe connect. We're in New Hampshire. Um, WinnieDesigns.com. If you guys want to check it out. Um, but we are kind of booked out pretty good until into June. And uh, June of 2022, so we're uh, not really looking for work, sorry to say, but we're kind of want to connect. I'd love to connect. All right, what am I? What am I doing? I'm trying to stall right now. Just... Judy, that looks amazing. Huh? Judy, that looks amazing. I told you. And let me show you this. I mean, I can take this off. The, the painting is done on there. Let me show you what this looks like. Look at that. So that's just going to continue through. I'm actually turn the fan on. I think that's going to speed this up a little bit. So now these walls are going to just continue over all the way into there. And then uh, going to basically dive down over into uh, that area there. All right. Austin, what's your dream work vehicle? Ford Raptor. Yeah. <laughs> That's my dream car. I just want to have a sick Ford, like, Ford Raptor. The work vehicle, like, I, I, we just have a trailer. We do one job at a time. So we park the trailer, and then, like, I just have my truck. But I think Ford Raptor would be fun. Right now, we just, I just have, like, a Sierra, GMC Sierra. It's a nice truck. It's better than the 2000 Suburban that I had. That was sick, the 2000 Suburban. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Um, it's just a reliable, decent car. The nicest thing in it is like the Apple CarPlay. I love that. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna microwave this a little bit. Just this piece, I'm gonna start working on that. Um, basically, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, oh, this is pretty good. It's not coming off. All right, but see like already like the surface here, it's like rough. It almost feels like sandpaper. Once it dries a little bit more, it's gonna be even better. But I'm just gonna kind of work on this area right here before I can, I'll do the rest of it. So the first thing you do is you key in, key in um, your wall. And all that means is just you back butter your wall instead of the tile. When you're working these massive tiles, you wanna do one piece at a time. Just cause one, you get a really good fresh thin set over it. There's no like open, time and anything like that that you have to worry about. Um, okay, from Mark, back to the wallpaper question. Is it okay if I red guard it in tile? It's, that would help because then any moisture from the thin set stops from separating the wallpaper from the, the glue. That would definitely help. Um, even the primer, I guess, would help Because the issue with that is like, all right, first you want to see if like, is the glue, like is the wallpaper falling off? If it's not, it's like bonded, then you want to make sure that the moisture that's inside of this doesn't seep through the wallpaper, right? And kind of weaken that glue. And I'm just kind of like thinking about this, I don't know. Uh, I feel like that makes sense. 
So I would definitely red garden or do the primer stuff. Can you guarantee waterproof on drywall any moisture induced area? Just wondering. Um, can you guarantee? I can guarantee this. This is not. This is moisture resistant drywall with tile over it. There's going to be glass panel right here. That's the shower. This is the tub. So this drywall, you can guarantee this drywall just as much as you can guarantee that drywall and that drywall. You know what I'm saying? Plus, there's massive piece of tile over it that's going to protect it even more. So I feel even safer about this drywall than that. And again, this was kind of like a change of our idea to tile this because originally the tile was supposed to kind of come down, but then we're like, why are we leaving this open? So we kind of pivoted there, um, and that's why, like, because if I knew right out the gate, I would have just done it, just so people don't ask questions about that. But, again, it's not going to be wet, so I'm not that concerned about it. Shay says it looks great. Jonathan uh, says, New Hampshire, question mark, the other side of the country have. I just yes. heard Washington earlier. Yes. Other side, we're like two hours north of, and we're like northern New Hampshire. We're not in the fancy, fancy part of New Hampshire. Austin Raptor, heck yeah, I would love to get a ramp for 2500 Oh, that would be cool. I have this, I need my kids to be like two two years older. My kid is five, and the other one is f two. Um, I have this like dream of like when they get uh, like seven, I guess it would be seven and four. Where we live, there's a decent amount of snow. I want to have like six houses that I plow. So I want to have like a truck that can plow. Uh, six houses that I can teach them like, hey, snow fell, let's go, we're going outside, we're going to go plow these driveways, and then just split the cash with them, just like have them earn some type of like money from it, and kind of started to learn the, the money making kind of ideas, I guess, and I think it'd be a cool bonding experience with like their kids, you know, have them hop out, shovel the drive, uh, the walkways as you're like plowing it, I think that'd be cool. So that might, I might need a bigger truck, but that might be an excuse to get a bigger truck, <laughs> you know? Shay, I tuned in a little late. How did you do the bottom of the shower? Or did you do it yet? That bottom? So this is actually, we have a curbless shower here with these envelope cuts. Look at that. So this is curbless shower. I even pitched this front piece of row, like tile, this front row, on the entire bathroom, I pitched it this way in a little bit. So any water even beyond the shower kind of goes in. And I have a full video on that on my page if you guys want to see the whole process. It's pretty cool. Um, all right. Let's get this first piece up. If you guys enjoy these lives, you want to tell me that you want me to do more of these, just throw a light. That's how I know, and that's how I'm like, yo, people are into this stuff. How many people are watching right now? Uh, we got 61. 61. How many likes do we have? 49. Come on, guys. <laughs> that's And I know if you're just watching this and you're like, hey, it's not bad. I'm just eating my lunch or whatever. Um, it's free, right? I mean, you don't have to pay, pay for this. Huh? Hey, yo, Winnie. What's up? Oh, I forgot to do it. I'll do it on the next on the next tile. If you promise me that you liked the video, I will get the next five likes with their names on the back of the next tile. And then I'll put it in. So then you will forever be immortalized, in tuned <laughs> into this into this bathroom. Um, but see like so this tinted right here is as fresh as sushi at a decent sushi restaurant. It's really, really nice and fresh right here. If I keep, you know, if I did that, that on the wall and then, you know, back butter, like it just, it takes a little bit longer. So then like it kind of, I don't know. You just don't have to rush as much. And I think it's a much cleaner install. Let's go. Judy watched, um, watched you do that as well. Amazing job. I think that was for the oh for the the floor video. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty cool. That's the second time I've ever done a curbless shower. 
and I'm really happy how it turned out. And then Shay loves watching the lives. Let's go. Um, Shay's gonna get his name on that. Jonathan, I love the lives. I tap in while I'm in the office. All right, Jonathan, watch this. All right, so I'm gonna start out outside of it. You see we're like about an inch out. I'm gonna give it a good little spank. And push that in right there. Okay. Our wall is a little bit bent here, so that's why the tile leveling system will pull that out over here. But now you want to make sure you get your tile off off the off this tile. So I'm gonna turn my laser on here. And then uh, you see I'm right inside this grout line here. So I want my tile to be just below that. So on this side we're gonna come up pretty good. Shay, I'll definitely be looking into that video after the live is over. That it's I I'm gonna push more of those and I, I learned an easier way to do it without having to like do all the chiseling that I did, um, chiseling out. So my next, oh, come on. can I see the little margin trowel right there? Yo, these pieces get heavy. From Alex into me, brother, LOL. Oh, into me, all right. Next piece, I'm gonna get five names. You gotta promise me that you actually. How are we gonna do that? I'm just gonna pick randomly. Huh? We're just gonna pick randomly. Yeah, I guess they're gonna have to comment or something. Say, I did it. <laughs> oh, I, I don't wanna. Here we go. Hello from Chile. I love your lives. Hello. So I guess on YouTube they're actually called sh streams. Streams. All right. See, so like, why do we need to use? not travel for tile um to allow to allow for the air that's behind there so basically it's kind of like you have your you know your lines like this and if you want to get it even i guess it's a way to evenly apply a layer of thin set because when you collapse them they kind of slide over each other allowing the air to escape Otherwise, if you just have like a smooth piece and you just kind of back buttered it, I guess, thick, there could be an air pocket in there that's stuck and you'd have a really hard time kind of getting that out. Um, and all that I just kind of made up in my head. Yo, Muscle Car's got a question. Why does my bright white grout turn yellow? I always buy mix the best stuff but still turns. Um, best grout turned yellow. Maybe it's not sealed. Maybe it's not the best grout. Um, we have, we use Latacree grout, and that is fire. That is really, really good grout. All right, so push this in there. Jonathan, have you ever accidentally shattered a big piece like that? Oh yeah, broken it before. So that needs to come up a little bit more. Spaldo creates suction pockets. Suction pocket this. All right. See, we have a nice little eighth inch gap right here. This one's just a little bit more than eighth inch, but um, and then that is just a little bit too much. Shay is currently in the process of ripping up a uh, tacky green tile floor and found out the subfloor is really damp. Damp? Yeah. Oh. Well, what's up with that? Carl has a question. What program do you use to show customers the design of a room? SketchUp Pro. So it's called SketchUp Pro. It's your. Um, is what we've been using. It works really, really nice. We're actually going to make a, once we have our little break, next couple 
weeks. I'm going to show you all of that, kind of like the entire kind of design process and our studio and all that, because I have a cool way. So I work with that. I have a uh, relationship with Architessa Tile, and they're a distributor out of, out of DC. And I was actually talking to them. I was talking to them and trying to figure out how, you know, because we have our studio, and I see a mass, massive benefit to it. And I was like, how can I kind of hook up the followers, subscribers, whatever? Follow subscribers to, to do that. And we're going to kind of put together like where you guys will have like almost like uh, instead of having a whole studio that you have to rent out and do all that stuff, they're going to send you a pallet full of samples that you can put under your bed in your garage or whatever. And then you can go to your uh, customer, show them the little samples, and then they can actually be like, oh, I like this sample. Can I get it bigger? And then you actually go ahead and order a bigger sample. And then you can see like, 30 to 40 percent on this tile we get 40 percent off on this tile and that's your margin that's how you make money so you actually you make money on this stuff muscle cars thanks for answering i do seal the grout but doesn't help i will most likely stop using white grout and move to gray or something off-white yeah we usually tell our customers that the grout is never 100 percent white it's like paper so Maybe it could be a little bit of that. Shay, it's just some paneling that looks like tile that someone thought was a cheaper and better alternative than real tile. Yeah. Yo, Donald! I'm back again, guys. Donald's I'm home from Nashville. All right. Arnaldo, I like that idea. Sign me up. I, I'll have that. That's going to be in the works. I got to like put together a, a box, like a pallet. Like they're going to send, we, we're going to curate this pallet. They'll send to me and then I'll do like a, like a live video where I'll unbox it and explain the whole process. There's literally zero cost to you. They just want to figure out how to sell more tile online. I, I was like, because we, we have a studio, we're paying like $1,200 a month for that, for the rental space and things like that. But I'm like, you don't need that. And they have designers, Architessa has designers that you can use for your um, projects. So you can kind of be a, like your design company as well. Um, I don't know, it's just a cool way to like raise your prices. All right. We're we doing good. I'm happy with this. I'll just do, let's do four. Just so it's more fun knocking these out. Donald, I use Power Grout by Tech. I've never used that one. Yo, I think I might just die. I might just die? Yeah, just went out. Oh, I can't hear anything. Can't hear anything? Oh. Let me see this. Oh, okay, we're hello. Back. Hello, we're back? Yeah, we're back. Why is it? Is the battery red, though? Let me, um... Is it working? Yeah, it's working. All right, well, let me know. If anything, we can switch over to our AirPods. That's the first time it's happened. Okay. Weird mics. All right, now we have this piece. That's going to be next. So again, we're going to key in. You guys enjoying these lives? You want to do more? Hit the like button. But what we're going to do... Uh, in the video earlier on, I showed you how to prep this. So if you guys want to go back, check that out. Uh, now we're installing this, and then this, 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 and I have my big ruby cutter out there that I'll show you. It just happened again. Uh, I think the mic is done. All right, hold on. You can hear me right now, first thing. All right. So unplug the unplug the phone out of the phone. Yeah, unplug that. phone okay so now you guys should be able to can you guys hear me can you say yes you can hear me say yes say yes
Should be good now. What if I what if I go like this? Can you hear me if I go like this? <laughs> this thing. Yes, All right, this died. Hold on, let me plug this. Plug this in. Whoa! Uh, let me plug this in really quick. Yes, the keys are in there. Do you, yeah, if you can, the keys are right in it. Thank you. All right, so back to you guys. Okay, you can hear. All right, so the AirPods should help. Um, huh? Yeah, I mean, I like the spinners, and they're pretty cheap. The, the, this whole bag is like fifteen bucks. Um, once you have the caps and everything, we're pretty set. Yeah, all that stuff is. Damn, the battery died pretty quick. I feel like it wasn't charging enough. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is called keying in your your wall. Basically, you're making sure that you have a nice, fresh layer of thin set on your wall, kind of where we got to go. And now we're going to get our tile. Let's wipe this real quick. I didn't mess up here. I'll show you in a second. But here's our piece of tile. All right, so that's got to go like this. All right, I'm going to put five names down. Go, first five names that you guaranteed that you liked the video. Five names, go. You forever live in this bathroom. Nothing yet. Come on. Who wants? First five names. First five names I will put down and then you, you guys will go in there. Maybe this is a stupid idea and nobody wants to do it. Ah, this is a good idea. Victor. 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 Exclamation point. Number one. Austin. Number two. Austin. Number three, Momo. Yeah. Gary. Momo. Number four is Sean. Is it S E? Uh, S H A W. Sean. What is it? S H A W N. And then number five is Gary. You guys <laughs> will now live in this bathroom. We will do. We have one. So we have one, two, three, four more of these. If you guys <laughs> want to hop on. I don't know. Huh? All right, do it more. I feel like it's a. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Keep these lives a little bit more interesting. I know. And no, but you gotta make sure that you like the video. Donald, never too late. We got we got four more pe five actually because there's the little one over there. Donald, you were on the, the transition piece, the threshold piece that we ripped out. That's actually kind of funny. Loan documents? That's awesome. There's just like a random comment like on the document that's like Victor number one. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know? That'll be funny. Alright. I'm like excited tomorrow to be doing this thing because that's just going to be a brain teaser. I'm not even, I'm going to think about that all day today. Oh no, all day today. Um, so when you're doing this, troweling out, if I, you see, like, if I angle my trowel like this a little bit, then all this thin set gets forced to the side and not make like a weird thing here. See how, like, this side is super clean. See that? It's kind of a little trick for you. A little trick from the army. <clears throat> Was that in the army? I'm sorry, I did not mean that. All right. 
and get canceled. This is bro. Let's do this thing. All right. Do you prefer to try the tile piece or the floor slash wall piece when tiling? When it's like this, when it's this big, I like to do the wall, the the piece, one piece at a time. One, I think it's such a clean install. But two, it's just, I think it's easier. You don't get sloppy. I mean, look how easy that was. Um, the walls don't get sloppy. I don't know, maybe I just suck at it, but like my walls usually get destroyed. Like, you know, I get drips all over here and everything. Plus large pieces, you're kind of supposed to uh, do it this way, I guess. Interesting. Thank you, Danielle. This is the scariest part is just kind of like picking these up. And I know people are like, dude, gra get Grabo and all these things. But those are even scarier because now you're just depending on this thing to hold it. Versus here, at least you have your fingers. Can you explain the difference between um, with and One second, one, two, three. Ooh. And let me show you my mistake really quick. Look, our grout line is going to be off here. And I feel so bad about that. But I just like, I just can't, like, I can't rip all this out. I think once we, that's the one thing I'm like, damn. I'm like, I really, really feel bad about that. Uh, what was the question? Yeah, so it's just depending on the size of tile. Um, the bigger the tile, the bigger the grooves you usually want to use, because then you need like a thicker surface area to actually make sure to make sure that it's actually that's too much. You see, I'm touching the the, the laser line. Why did it not line up? Um, because I wanted to do this first, so then this tile could sit on it and kind of give me that nice overlap. But I, when I measured the mark here, I for some reason didn't set my laser right, so I'm off by eighth of an inch. Um, yeah, I feel really bad about it, but like I just, I'm showing it just so you guys don't think that I'm like that, like whatever, good at it. But feel bad about it if that makes anybody feel better. <laughs> The homeowners were fine because they were like, we're going to put stuff on there, but that does suck. Okay. Do you mix multi-max light to spec or do you play with the water ratio? We play with the water ratio, right, Alex? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's either you got to add more water and it gets a little bit soupy, more powder. Yeah, I think once it gets grouted out, there's going to be a nice bead of silicone here. Oh, no, there's going to be a bead of silicone here. Nobody will notice it, but it's, again, I just wanted to show you guys that like, I made a mistake there. and That sucks. So we're keeping it real. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's the little, can I have the little red rubies? This needs to come up just a hair, but that thing is 16th of an inch and that's too much. These little ruby wedges are so clutch. They go to zero essentially. And just like when like you just need a little bit, cause this was 32nd and the 32nd was even pushing that up too high. So I literally just need like right there. Now that's, no, that's perfect. What's your opinion on pre-made mix? I, I hate it. I hate that. The mastic stuff. I never like it. Um, well, one, it's like that stuff should never be getting wet. That's like, because it's, it's glue essentially. Um, so that should never be getting wet. And then 
So, like, what are you going to, like, do a part where, like, the sink is? You're going to use thin set, but then the other part, like, you're going to use that? I just think it's easier to mix a little bucket of thin set and do it with, with thin set. Just doing it for the first time. On that, yeah. I'm not a big fan of it. I like just mixing thin set. Because um, literally, when you open those bags or those buckets, you can smell, like, the epoxy glue in them. Um, I just think this is e it's easier to use thin set I, think. I don't know what do you guys think in the comments let me know in the comments Like I, I, I'm just a random dude um, but that's kind of my thought on it never do a shower with it because we just did demo in that little bathroom they used epoxy uh, like whatever mastic stuff and the whole wall was mold and that's because mastic it has glue in it and glue is organic yeah G glue is organic so if you give it some moisture then it's going to mold all right big piece let's go thin set Style is definitely like <laughs> annoying to like work with. Charge more <laughs> for large format tile. It's not easier in any way. But it is time for five names. <laughs> five names. Make sure that you make sure that you actually did like it, like this stream, and give me five names. One, two, three, four, five. First five names. You will forever live inside this shower. Boom. I like it. It's like in... We're gonna wait. We need the names. We need names. How do you spell that? G O R D O. Gordo. And then Daniel. D A. N I E L Daniel Donald's in Donald D E A D E A N O One more and Randy Randy wasn't Randy already in there It's all right No that was Gary Randy Let's go you guys will forever live inside this bathroom. You will haunt this path. You will hold me. All right. All right, there were some questions you said. Never in the shower. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's. I just don't think it's hard to mix thin set. I don't know why. Like, but I guess you get a lot of more work time out of mastic. Also, it's coming from a person that's literally never used mastic before. I know what it smells like and stuff because it's. A buddy of mine was using it. I was like, dude, what's up with this? And then I asked about it on social media, got absolutely destroyed. And I was like, you know what? I will never use mastic. So don't listen to me. How much thin set it is for this one tile? Oh, we're going to cut a piece of tile next. You guys enjoy these lives? Like, if you do, the best way to support this and kind of give me confidence that this is not a waste of my time. But honestly, it's not. Because like even those questions, I feel like I wouldn't be doing anything else. I'd still be doing this. So I might as well. I was wondering why you didn't carefully use an angle grinder yesterday to cut the back of the shooter. 
Um, hmm, Jim, I'm not sure. I could have, I guess I could have done that. Probably could have used my tile saw as well. I feel like I had more control with the, with the little guy, but I don't know. I, I've never tried it with the angle grinder. I'm gonna give that a try. Yeah, next week we have, not next week, the following week. We just have like week of like content at the studio. I'm gonna show you a bunch of plumbing stuff, how to set toilets, how to like do valves, things like that. And I'll probably, so we have this bathroom that we wanna do, shower insert bathroom, like three piece insert. Cause we never, like, I mean, we never take a job to do that stuff. But we're like, people ask about like, hey, how do you do that? How do you do that? And like, so now because we have our YouTube studio or whatever, I'll be able to stage that and one, it's because it's cheap. So I can actually afford to like lose that money. Um, but hopefully you guys get a bunch of value out of that to learn how to do it. How much money do you get there for one square meter? Um, it depends. Custom showers is really hard to just bid out by meters or whatever. Um, Oh my goodness. Okay. One, two, three, spin. Oh, that's easily like 70 pounds. Bang. Look at that. I mean, like, talk about square meters. Hello, Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. Yo, let's go. <laughs> this looks awesome. I mean, this tile is just straight beautiful. Like you can't, the cl cleanliness of it, the whole thing, like I get it why people use it. I mean, this is what I would do in my house. Um, I've never done the 24 by, no, the 48 by 10 foot. I've never done that. Um, kind of have FOMO about doing that because like I see so many people um doing that hey let's go donald no you're gonna listen to this than like a joe rogan podcast or something so when you have lippage kind of pretty good you tighten these up and if you don't want to break them kind of do a like a simultaneous like hit so keep a little pressure on it and then like and that tightens it nice Versus just trying to crank on it. How much do these tiles go for? For a square foot, it's like five bucks a square foot. Pretty cheap. Um, for a tile that looks this nice, it's pretty cheap. Dean, got to get back to the shower. I'm working. Keep up the good work. Enjoy your videos. No, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Look at that. I don't want to hit it too hard because this angle here is kind of sketchy. It's pretty good. Very nice. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna keep it right there. All right, so now we're gonna go over and cut our next piece of tile that's going into here. Um, and we'll use our Ruby manual cutter. Thing is a monster. Yeah, I mean, for us, that's kind of realistically. We like if somebody told me, "Hey, go tile a basement," I would run into a wall as fast as I could to hurt myself. But like this, I love. I think like there's some type of art, artistic kind of eye that you have to use for this, and you charge decent money for this type of work versus the square foot because the square foot stuff is just like literally how fast can you do it to make good money and i just don't work that way it's like we work kind of slow one because we make all these videos two is because i don't have that much experience working fast i guess all right yo thing looks pretty nice the veins going that way and everything pretty nice all right yeah let's go Nice. Exactly. 
same busy street and tell at the same time. Right? Yeah, it's not like I'm not working, right? Like somebody was like, dude, just focus on your work. And I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I am focused. Otherwise, I'd be like checking my Instagram or something. <laughs> I feel like this is fine. I'm doing these streams. Um, this one's definitely going to be longer just because I wanted to show you more of full process here. If you guys missed the prep work, this is the prep work on the the, the drywall. That's important. You can always go back and check that out. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep these streams up until basically New Year's and that bathroom that we're doing. I'm debating like if I should do that bathroom, the shower insert bathroom, just stream only. Basically, I think I can do the whole bathroom in like four, maybe like five, two hour streams, or maybe six, two hour streams, how to do the shower, how to do parts of it. I feel like that might be better versus just putting out one video on how to do the shower answer. I don't know. I'm still debating that. All right. Let me get another piece of tile. This one we're going to, I'm just going to layer right here so you guys can see the marking of it and whatnot. Oh. Right? Just the shower. I think we can do the, so, but then like the video I think would be sick. Maybe I can do both. Just basically record it like that and then combine the stream with it. Um, Ernest, do you ever use any of the tile library tool content? Yes. We, we have that 35 and a half. We have one somewhere, 35 and a half in the trailer. 35 and a half. Should be kind of the same. Do you prefer ceramic or porcelain? Porcelain. 35 and a half. I think porcelain tile, especially like this one, glazed, just it's just beautiful. Like it looks more in depth than just like a print. I don't know how to say it. Like this seems like a, almost like a coat of some type of epoxy or something that's over it. I guess it's the polish, but it, it has like, it looks legit. All right, let's go cut this. Let's show off my big manual cut at me. <laughs> what? Yeah. This is... So we kind of got these legs, go here. So this is a Ruby TX Max cutter. Yeah, it's got cool carrying case. Put this leg over here. Not a good idea. All right, I'm gonna line this up. I, there's like a little, Oh, mark, mark, mark right there. And then this, you kind of want it to be lined up. You just see where this wheel comes down. Whoa, we're way outside. Um, I guess you could, but I just feel like that's very, um, hold on, I messed something up. Hello, that's Washington, WA. This is a 24 by 48 porcelain tile. Um, why is this? Just sent a screenshot to my sister in law of my name you wrote on the tile, and she said, Oh my god, I follow this guy on TikTok. Now I'm going to go there. <laughs> Let's go. Awesome. We're taking it over. We're taking it over. Ow. 
All right, hold on. So, lined up pretty good here. So here's what you do. First, you kind of come here, you get your wheel on there, and then come backwards to make sure that you have a good scratch at the, at the end here. And then right over the beginning of it again, nice pressure down. And then right through there. And then what's cool here is like it kind of clicks up to there. And then you just give it a nice little bang. And I didn't scratch it enough over here. God dang it. So that didn't scratch enough here. So now we got to go outside and use our grinder to cut it. This is why we don't use this that much. I feel like I, yes, I don't use it enough to like, I need to practice it more. All right, so let's go and cut this. Alex, we gotta put a drop cloth here. Look at this dude. I just gotta scratch it harder, but it's kind of intimidating. Baby. Alex's baby. In terms of like, it's much cheaper to be using the, the other cutter versus this, because this the wheel on this thing is like 90 bucks or 80 bucks. But it's amazing, but it's like. now can you hear this we back are we back can, can, can you guys hear this can you hear this all right i think it's just because it was so loud it just checked it out Here's this piece. Let me grab the other. So we have this. Let me grab this one. Turn it on. Do you want to plug into it? Where's that wire? Huh? Oh, it's right here. All right. So, hold on, we want to try to get the audio better for you guys. So that's going to go here. And it's going to go here. I'm going to turn this on. Oh, house, you got to plug this in. Hold on, technical difficulties, we're fixing it, we're on it. You also can't hear me very well, so I'm going to speak up a little bit louder. All right, can you hear that? You can hear pretty good? I can hear pretty good. All right, we're back. All right, so let me grab a towel. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, still kind of trying to figure out our audio situation, how to make that better. But I think this is all right. You can hear that? Yes. That's better than AirPods, right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, all right, we're going to key this in. And then we're going to need five names for the tile, but not yet. Don't comment yet. It won't count until I say it counts. All right. So again, this is called keying in your thin set. Basically, it's just glorified back buttering. Instead of back buttering your tile, and troweling out the wall, I do it differently with the large format tile. And honestly, it's recommended to do it that way because then the thin set is perfectly um, fresh. All right, just clean. 
clean this up. I mean, look how clean the install is. There's like no cleaning after that that you really, you have to do. All right, now, oh, any names? Names, five names. Five names. Let's go. All right, let's list them off, guys. Two, three, four, five names. Wow. So the, these names will forever live inside this bathroom. Arnaldo. Arnaldo? Yeah. A R N O L D O. Arnaldo. Uh, Marcos. Marcos? Yeah. Marcos. And then Jim. Jim. Slim Jim. Oh, it's... Spaldo. How do you spell that? S P A U L D O. Spaldo. And one more. Jillo. J I L L O. Jillo. Jilo. Jillo. Bang! You guys will forever be in this bathroom. That's 15 people. Um, <laughs> that now will be. We're running out of Finset as well. So that sucks. But we should be able to get this tile done. Greetings from Detroit. Looks great. Yo, let's go. Look, look how much we got done so far. How, how long's the live been so far? The stream? 66 minutes and 35 seconds. So that, and I mean, you guys see that we're working. So this took an hour, basically, to do. Um. Hola, amigos, Winnie. Hola. Hola, como esta? Hey, did you say you used to be an engineer? Yeah, I went to school for civil engineering, and I hated it. So then I dropped out and uh, started to do construction. My first business failed pretty bad. Um, this is my second business kind of learning from my mis mistakes. What type of thin set you use? So this is Trilight. Um, Laticrete Trilight. Like in terms of thin sets, it's really good. In terms of like Laticrete thin sets, it's like, you know, one of their top ones. It's not the most expensive, whatever. But um, yeah, Laticrete Trilight. We are out of thin set. We're gonna go mix it. Yeah, I went to school. I went to school for civil engineering. I'm driving something here. Yeah. Went to school for civil engineering and kind of did like four internships. I absolutely hated it. Every internship that I did, I hated it more and more and more. So then my senior year, I'm like, why am I doing this if I like don't enjoy even my internships? And I saw like that some of the people were just kind of, I don't know, maybe I just got lucky or not lucky or whatever it was like there was a bunch of negative people who just like always complained about their job and they were like oh i can't wait to retire and i'm like jesus christ this is awful like why you know i'm sure there's people who love it but maybe it's just not Ronaldo wants to know what mistakes uh kind of messed up and like kind of fixed modified um so one of the mistakes is that right there the no, no, business-wise Oh, business-wise. Yeah. So, the mistakes I did was I hired too many people without outside of knowing the job myself. So I hired people, and I was like, "Go, they're, they're good guys. They're gonna help me out. Like, they're not gonna screw me over." And I didn't know that like this shouldn't take that long to do. And like basically, I was just taking advantage of. And also, I didn't have good like bookkeeping, accounting. So the contracts were kind of more like handshake deals. And then at the end, I got screwed over where the guy owed me $30,000 and he's like, sue me. And I'm like, I have no contract, so I can't really sue you. Um, so I kind of got screwed over. So now we're like very contract driven from that. And then also, instead of going very spread out, renovation, remodel kind of, we just do bathrooms. That is the biggest thing to us. I think the difference maker is we just do bathrooms. And when we go to like client meetings and anything like that, and we say like, no, we just do bathrooms. They love that so much because it shows that you're a specialist in that. And they're willing to pay extra money 
for somebody who's just professional in that. It's like going to a doctor and doc like just a general doctor with like a knee surgery. Probably a little more sketchy if you just went to a knee doctor. And that's kind of how I see it. I do believe specialization is the key to this. And there's definitely more money in the higher end work than there is in like not higher end work. It's less competition too. What does Winnie stand for? One second. So Winnie stands for the lake that we live on. It's called Lake Win Winnipesaukee. The lake that we live on is called Lake w Winnipesaukee. And people a lot of times refer to it as just Lake Winnie. So it's just a different way of saying Winnie. <coughs> Keep going. Oh, thank you so much. Michael, but, do you guys float your shower walls? We don't. Um, one, I don't really know how to do it right off the bat. That's like the first thing. But second, I just, I have a little bit of like carpentry background. So like, it, to me, it's just easier to reframe that wall to sister it or shim it or rip pieces of wood and kind of fix it that way. I just feel like it's much easier than trying to float it. For me, I know some people are just so, so good at it, but I'm not. So like, okay, I guess keeping to my strengths. Is there a big difference between big box store thin set and premium thin set? Yeah, absolutely. The dry time, like when I get thin set from big box stores, 15 minutes. And then like, you're like, oh my God, I gotta like put this down. Like this thin set, I mean, we mixed it before the, the stream started and it's still like, I mean, it's still wet, like it's still workable. We just ran out. Um, so the dry time is massively different. Does that thin set come pre-mixed? No, you gotta mix it. Any like premium thin set, any thin set you have to mix, you can't not mix thin set. If, if something you don't have to mix, then it's a mastic or glue. Lat Laticrete is by my house here in uh, Connecticut. Uh, SoCal. So oh, really? South Carolina. South Car California. Uh, Southern California. All right, we got this. So now I got to go mix it. Um, how many people we got on? 64. All right, jeez. 92 likes. 92 likes. All right, I guess I'll keep it going. I was like, all right, I guess you guys are not into it. Oh, no, they're still into it. You guys still into it? Michael, paper, wire, scratch, and float into you guys' hot mop out there. No, I know, I've seen that, and I'm always like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> it's, I think that's a California thing. I don't. There's not a business that even exists that does that in this. Yeah, he's from Los Angeles. In, yeah, in, in, in this area. But I've seen, I've seen what what's in Tile Coach. He like used to hot mop. Oh, I don't know. It looks kind of gnarly. Um, Remodeling my rental home. If you had to choose from a tub with tile or no tub and just go full shower, full tile shower, what would you prefer or recommend? Thanks from El Paso, Texas. El Paso, Texas. If it's a small, smaller place, that's probably not suitable for kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if it's a studio, you're not going to have three kids in it, right? Um, I would definitely go shower because shower is just more practical. It's easier. It's bigger. Taking a shower in a shower is more enjoyable than taking a shower in a tub. But if it's like 1,500 square foot, two bedroom, blah, 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 you could see a family living there, then I would definitely go with the tub. I know people would probably automatically like tub, but like I don't think so. If it's like a bachelor pad or well, not a bachelor pad, but if it's like a single person, I don't think a lot of people take baths. Realistically, I have kids and we give our kids baths all the time, so that's different. Jim wants to know what software do you use to run your customer database estimates, invoices, and back and bookkeeping? We just use Google Docs and we kind of did our own thing, but I do that's one of the things I want to get better at is like figuring out QuickBooks and maybe using that stuff, but we haven't done that yet. Um, all right, we're gonna go make some thin set. Do we have water out there, Alex? 
Huh? I think I had a bucket out there. I didn't dump it in the house. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so we actually don't need that much. So I'll just give it a little. Hmm. That should be enough. Here. So this is our trilight that we use. Ladder Creek thin set. I'll just use the rest of this bag and see what it can give me. So we did a whole wall basically with half a bag. That's not bad. Love to see the mixing. There we go. You know, and honestly, I used up a little bit from the other bag too. Wow. Get a mixer like this. It's a life changer. This is why we have a bucket of water, so then we can go like this. Kind of clean that up a little bit, but we're running out of water there. But honestly, I got kind of lucky that that's perfect consistency that I want. I'm gonna let that sit for a couple minutes, and then we gotta bring some tile in. Oh, two pieces to finish up that wall. What's the best way to reach out to you? I have a question I don't want to share. Um, I, I guess DM me on Instagram. Well, uh, those are kind of hard to reach out to also. Right behind you. Thank you. I guess Gary, you can email me. That's the best way. It's kind of private. Don't annoy me with it like anybody else. It's like my business email. But if you go to my website, info, or like whatever, winniedesigns.com, my email is there. You can just email me. That's probably the best way um, to actually get a hold of me. Now I can get back to you. All right. So while, all right, while that is kind of curing for five minutes, you need to give it five minutes. Let's measure this piece of tile. What are the must-have tools when doing tile work at the beginning? Tools? Yeah. Do I have a video out? Must-have tools? No, we don't have a video like that. Um, that would be a good video. Where's our uh, clippers? Do we have those metal clippers? Is it back there? I mean, this, the sooner you can get to that tile saw that I have, I, I mean, I can't say how much we love that tile saw, so like, um, but I guess the biggest must have tools, what would you say, Alex? I guess the tile saw, honestly, like that's the, the one thing that just jumps out to me where I'm like, damn, I don't want to live without. Grinder. Not even the grinder. I, I guess if, if you're starting out, definitely get onto the Ruby like wheels. The grinder wheels, the their cutting like so that um, tile saw blade. We've cut so much tile with that. This is the second bathroom we're doing with it. And before that, we I did a favor for a buddy of mine where we cut seven hundred square feet of tile down the middle because he had to, we had to rip it for him. Like those last forever. And like when you get the ones from Home Depot, literally you can only get through like one bathroom until it goes to crap. Yeah, we're gonna need a Hitachi. All right, I gotta go mix that thing. 
Alex will take you to get the Hitachi tool that we need to kind of carve out the back over there of the old thin set. So you can take them on a little quick tour to see them. Awesome. The the nasty, uh, <laughs> the oh, it's not that bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. We gotta put that drop. All right, I'll mix this one more time. You can show them that. All right, so this is coming with us. Yep. Now we can go ahead with that. I'm gonna see if I can do a better job cutting this piece of tile on the, on that cutter. I'm kind of frustrated. Didn't cut the first time. I don't have any tiles to spare, so I'm a little scared to even not use it. If you had to choose between the cutter versus the tile saw, the tile saw is better. Um, which tile saw do you have and which one do you recommend for a beginner? So the one I have is a DC 250. That's a Ruby tile saw. It's to me, honestly, it's the best tile saw out there. You just, you can just do so much with it, especially these large tiles. We can go outside. I'll show you how easy it is to cut those. Um, that's what I would recommend. And in the meantime, if you just want to get like, started maybe just get like a rigid tile saw to get started and then work your way up to that so because i mean the rigid one is cheaper but i almost like don't spend too much money on the cheap one just so then you can level up quicker to the big one because the big one is just it's the best i'll show i'll show you with the uh, <coughs> cutting it so here basically my tile leveling clip is not getting in there and I need to make a little bit of room for, for this. And that's what we're about to do. How many people are watching this right now? 52. Yo. 54. 54. If you guys enjoy this and you want to see more of this, let me know by liking the video. Um, I know, like, I'm not begging for likes, but it's just, that's how um, it can get out there more. And if, like, it just makes it more fun for me to actually get more feedback from people and whatnot. And I'm just snipping off this, just so I don't have to. I'm good. Think I'm so tall. There we go. Needs to be touching the other tile, obviously, right? All right. Let's get these measurements. If it's different measurements, then we're just gonna use the tile. So. All right. So this side is. 18 5 eighths. 18 5 eighths here. If you guys have any questions, shoot them. Alex will read them out to me. 18. I need to get you a cordless multi tool for that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you can get it to me. I'll give you my P.O. box. 18 5 eighths. Let's go. I'm gonna use my tile, so I feel like it's a little bit safer. Let me just. Yes, yeah, stream every day. I've shared this video to a group of people who love watching us. Really? <laughs> who likes us? <laughs> I appreciate it. Let's go. All right, so 18. She said, LOL, sure thing. 18.58. Is Jim the one that actually wants to DM me? Yeah. Oh. All right, Jim. 18. 
five eight. Marco, the live streams are awesome. I missed it earlier, but what is that mesh at the top? So that's not mesh. So that's the KBRS shower system. So this is a hundred percent waterproof, like sheets that we install KBRS shower system. On that side, we have our drywall. It's outside of our shower surface, outside of our wet area. So we primed it and that's what we did earlier. I showed you basically the primer that you got to use and everything kind of that, that process. Um, but this is the KBRS shower system that goes you know, behind all of this. All right, let's go outside. We'll use our saw and you guys get to see why that saw is amazing. Cause like massive piece of tile like that, like you'll see how easy it is to cut it. All right. Dun, dun, dun. We appreciate you, Alex. Thank you so much. Live streams are good or great. It's hard sometimes to catch them when at work. Well, I always save them if you guys want to watch them later. But I appreciate that. I'm just going to clean this up. I'll put my saw all the way back here, lock it in right here. When you're cutting these big pieces, you slide this back. Basically, it gives us support on here. Hold on, get these pieces off of here. Don't cut your hand doing this. All right, then this is what's sick. It's like you literally just put this on here. Put this on here, you slide it under your mark, and then there's a laser attachment that I want to get for this, I don't have that yet, but I'm going to then make sure that I'm right on these marks. So right here, I see that I'm about to run over that mark. I'm going to come to this side, I see that this has to slide over just a little bit right there. That has to right there. See, so you can you have so much like this room here. All right, now it's gonna get a little bit loud, but check out. So when I'm cutting it, you'll see that I plunge the front end, plunge this, and then make my cut. Um, because if you, if you just go from there and you cut all the way across, you have this massive piece of tile like this that's vibrating kind of, right? That b when you get to the tip over here, it will chip. It will. Like it doesn't matter which type of saw. Like, it'll you, blow out. Yeah, it'll blow out. So you have to pre-cut the ends and then cut the middle and it'll never blow out. So check this out. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
absolutely zero blowout. Let me show them how just a perfect, perfect, perfect cut right down the line here. Um, and here, check, look at this blade. This blade has been through stuff. Like this blade has been through some things and it's still cut like a perfect cut like that. Uh, just, they make the best blades. They, they really, really, really do. Um, I'll show you, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link down below of like where I get them from. I get all my stuff from Two Locker. Look in general, it's just really awesome. Yeah. I think with the saw, I think you get the... Uh... Yeah, you can get the little stone to kind of clean it up. Um, all right, Alex, you want to open that? Thank you. on the ground. It's kind of clutch to have this little like workstation here. How do you feel about tabletop tile saws if working with larger tiles like 10 by 34? 10 by 34. Well, again, like I don't like the table, the table push ones. I don't, it's like, I don't like, I know most of you guys have those and I don't want to like, sh like crap on them. It's just, once you try this like tile saw, then you're like, you, it's kind of like the whole iPhone thing. Once you have an iPhone, it's like, you don't want to go back. So it's kind of, it, that's the feeling I get there. Like that was so easy. And that was 24 by 48. The other ones is just a joke. Like, you know, anything smaller than that. Um, it's so much easier. All right, so also the back, it's wet. So you always want to make sure that you're getting, you're wiping the, that up. Thin set will not stick very well with your back tile as well. Yeah, that will just not. No bueno. Um, is that my thin what set? What type of bits do you use to go into porcelain tile? I keep running mine. Ruining mine. Yeah, uh, the, the ruby bits are amazing. I mean, I, I don't want to keep pushing the ruby ones. They make the best cutting tools and drilling tools. Um, the ruby bits are so good. You could probably get... 30 drill holes out of one, which is a lot for for a porcelain bit like that. It's a, it's a lot. Um, all right, let me key in the thin set. How well can this saw cut a sandwich or a slice of Oh my God, it, <laughs> imagine. That's kind of like the, the, the process there. All right, so this is just me keying in the thin set here. Keying in is just back buttering, I guess. This just basically makes sure that you have good, solid contact with that wall back, the, the wall. Earlier on the stream, I showed you how to prep your, your, uh, your drywall. Just wanna see that. If you guys enjoy these lives, definitely hit that like button just so I can know that you like these. What kind of grout do you use on your shower floor? The between the shower floor and the wall tile. Say, grout, say it again. Uh, what kind of grout do you use on your shower floors? The transition between the shower floor and the wall tile. Do you grout that or caulk it? I, I caulk it and we get Latticeal. So it's a Latticrete, uh, it's Latticrete silicone based grout caulking so it's grout caulk that has silicone in it and it's really really strong i order them online because they don't sell them anywhere um i need five names five names and you guys will forever live in this bathroom three four five. First five names will go on there and then i will send you a cookie five names oh five names <laughs> five yeah, names i'll just fell asleep for a second yeah, that's probably Join the line. Denise. Denise. How do you spell that? Uh, D E N I S E. S E. Denise. Brian. Brian. Mike. Sheriff, come get you. <laughs> Mike. Who else? Uh, Sheriff, come get you. Whoa. Sheriff? Yeah, come get you. Sh all one thing. Sheriff. G O N. Gone. Yeah, G O N N A. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Um, and then Aaron. 
E H R. Oh, E. Uh, e. Yeah. H. R. E. N. R. E. N. Aaron. That is not how I thought Aaron is spelled. Um, cool. You guys will forever live in this bathroom. <laughs> All right. Um, we're so close. I want to finish this wall with you guys because I feel like. Anybody who's stuck around needs to see it all done and stuff back. Yeah, they huh? They that. You guys deserve the, re the reveal. Um, we're going to do this again tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to work on this awkward area. So I actually have to template this side right here. And I'll show you kind of how we do that templating process. And I think that's going to be the live maybe on how to template and cut out this weird piece of tile. on them oh i bought one on sale but i just can't bring myself to like it what? just too much work the uh saws oh yeah um, oh, let me get this. one second let me get this child out so i don't interrupt alex A lot of fence that goes for these pieces. Yeah. Cool. All right. Do you have some question? Right. Uh, please do crap on them. Oh, well. I bought one on sale, but I just can't bring myself to like it. Just too much work, but it's hard to just justify 300 to $400 purchase for the two bathrooms I'm doing. Thanks. Let me justify it. You can sell it. You get it and you can literally, so what if it was a hundred bucks? You could buy it for 450 bucks. You can literally say, hey, I just did one bathroom with it, one project with it. And then you can go on Craigslist and just turn that around for 300 bucks. So like, think of it that way. You could definitely sell it. Don't like hold on to it, you know? As a contractor, always keep the receipts. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know. That's, I mean, that's a little different. I'm saying sell it. Oh, like yes, yeah, sell it back. After you used it, sell it, and you got your value out of it. It cost you a hundred bucks, let's say, and now you're just gonna sell it, and you know everybody's happy. <sighs> okay. TJ Donald, how long have you guys been working together, and what's your guys' relationship? Relatives, friends of a friend? Just curious. Craigslist buddies. <laughs> I met Alex on Craigslist, and we've been working over two years now together. And now Misha is one of my best friends. Now we're best friends. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, look at that cut at the top. Let's go, baby. Mm, 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 mm. Huh? I came out pretty nice. Happy with that? Happy with that? Bring that to the bank. Yo, you see that other vein? Other vein that kind of... Oh, that kind of looks like a match. Uh, like that. Daddy like that? <laughs> Daddy like that? All right. Clean this up a little bit. Oh, that's not us. So originally we were supposed to just come tile to here, come down. And then that way, I just thought this looked so much better. That's why we have that weird delay, kind of two weeks in the pro in this project, because this tile took three weeks to order and, and get. How sick does that look? Yo, throw a like if you think this looks amazing. Comment, say like trash. <laughs> don't be mean <laughs> if you don't think this looks good. Um, I think this looks awesome. Myself. There we go. What do you guys think? Legit? I think it looks legit. Uh, that 
That's awesome. That's sick, right? And you're seeing it live. All right. I want to show you one more piece that this way we did this whole wall together, but let me bring that in on our operating table here. And then, uh, oh, you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh man. One, two, three. Mo A, how do you manage your contracts and all the content you post online? By myself, kind of, with I mean, Catherine helps a little bit with with that, but um, I don't know. I kind of have it organized. The the contracts are sort of like deliverables for different brands and things like that. I usually like to do long term deals, so like that, I just like have meetings and whatnot. But in terms of like work contracts and everything like that, we have our program just uh, that we built on Google Sheets. We do one job at a time, so that's pretty straightforward. The job we're working on is the job we're invoicing. Um, but Catherine helps a lot, so she's she's my wife, and uh, she does all the back end work um, of emailing people, and so she kind of has her own system. And I'm not like 100% sure what she does, but we're small. We're not like a big. We're not a big company. I want to take this more towards the social media side of it just because I enjoy the hell out of it. I feel like it's fun. I can, um, so I want to kind of get into building, building a full house from scratch. I don't know how to do it. I'm not going to pretend I know how to do it. It's going to be like, hey, I'm building my first house. I want to show you guys how to do it. Um, and then what's sick and what's going to be different about us is that I'm going to give that house away to one of you guys, to one of the subscribers on YouTube. So the bigger the channel gets that money from the channel, it's just going to go into these houses and I want to build the giveaway houses. You're probably like, bro, but how are you going to live on? It's going to be from the brand deals. So the revenue from the Google, from the YouTube, is going to pay for the house. Brand deals is how I'm going to support my family. Um, and Alex, <laughs> but that's kind of, that's the dream. And so we're not there yet. Cause we still have to grow. We have, we have to figure it out, learn all this stuff, but that's kind of like what I like envision doing. Like we're going to build this like 700 square foot house, start small. And then like, as the channel grows, the next house is going to be like 1200 square feet and different and bigger and lake houses. And, and that's kind of what I want to do for the rest, like next 10 to 15 years is these giveaway houses. And I think it's going to be so cool. Like, you guys think that's cool? I don't know. Like, but I would like if you guys don't like that. I don't know. That looks great. Hope the homeowners appreciate it too. That's the most gratifying part for sure. Yeah, I mean, the homeowners follow us on social media, so it's like they um, one they think this is pretty cool stuff that we're doing, um, and I think they do appreciate it. Thirty-five and a half. It's the swimsuit edition of tile work. 35 and a half. Yeah. 35 and a half. All right. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate it. Thanks for the little towel. Yes. You're welcome. So, 35. Amazing content. What's your favorite leveling system that we can buy over Amazon? So, it's this. It's, uh, uh, it's the Cyclone. Ruby Cyclone. Cyclone. And I think this is the best system. I'll have... I'll have that in the link below. I use the tool locker. They deliver it to your house. I don't like using Amazon for that. One that kind of more expensive. I use um, the tool locker for it. I have a membership with them. It's uh, like their um, club or whatever. It's kind of like Costco, right? Like how you have their membership there. So you have it with tool locker and I actually get this for like 15% off. And because I get a, like a bunch of them, I get a pretty good deal, 35 and a half. 35 and a half minus, kind of like on the lesser side. TheTwoLocker.com, um, that's where I get it. All right, this is 1858s. Aaron, that's an awesome goal. Eighteen five eights. sorry Aaron, one second. So this side is 1858s. See, so like this cut, I have to cut it on an angle by eighth of an inch, like a little bit less. And on that tile saw, it's gonna be sick. So 18, five eighths, like plus, cause I want the 16th inch taller on that side cause the wall kind of runs away a little bit. 
So it's so easy with that saw to kind of adjust the tile, boom, cut it. If you have a push table saw, like, I don't, I don't know, like you just have to do this with a grinder or something. I'm not doing this with the manual cutter because that thing scares me. <clears throat> Let's go cut this. Put that in, get, it, get your names on the back of this tile and then we're, we'll end our stream basically showing this off. Um, I mean, the last thing I have to do is that, but I gotta get like a shooter strip and I don't wanna go too far, but all right, let's go cut this. Rudy, what was your first ever job that you ever had after high school? Um, framing, I was like, when I was in college, I was doing framing on the side on the weekends. Oh no. It's the homeowner. I'm gonna say hi. All right, so I'm gonna cut this side first, this way, so then it's more manageable to work it. So we'll cut this. Hello. Hello. Don't go in there yet. We're almost done with that wall. I wanna surprise you really? with it. Yeah. All right. Good to go under there. Okay. Yeah, I want to make this cut first, so then it's easier for me to do the, the other one. All right. So I'm gonna line that up right there. Cut this. All right, we got that. Hey, Jim said the Cyclone kits are out of stock on Tool Locker right now. They're not. Like, you just got to call them and they have them. They have a massive shipment that they came. Like, I know they have them. You just, um, just got to call them. Um, that's the one thing that, like, they're still, it's like a newer company. And, um, like, I'm working closely with them trying to figure out, like, all that because I have my own locker with them, like Winnie Locker, where all my tools, my the materials that I use, all this stuff, I have it all in one place. And like that's the one thing that people are kind of complaining about is that like you gotta call them a lot to kind of check the stock. And they're they're working on it. They're they're a small business out of Chicago. They're they're learning kind of their stuff, but they're not out of stock. But if they are Amazon, that you can buy them on there. I right, see, so I'm gonna cut this, line that mark up, line that mark up, cut it. See how easy, like you just, I don't know.
Bang. Hi, Winnie. Quick question. Are the Italian clips better than the other ones? Yeah. I, I like these better because they kind of compress versus slide. The other ones you kind of slide in and pushes the tile. But here you compress and just squ squishes them. Um, oh, D. Garrett, uh, belt tool locker dot com came in on the middle of the explanation. What about tool locker? Uh, belt tool locker dot com, I guess. Belt tool. I'm not sure what that means. Mm. <laughs> All right, this is the last piece that we got to install here. And then we'll get that piece in next. You guys can check those in my stories on YouTube for the next piece. Just because it's going to take me a little bit. Honestly, kind of want to go eat an apple. <laughs> but this is a, a beast of a live. Do you guys like these long lives? Here, go over here, Alex. Do you guys enjoy the longer lives? Or is this kind of like, I don't know. How many people are watching this one right now? Uh, 54. 54, that's not bad. How many likes? 125. 125. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I mean, you then. The sound of a blade cutting tile and a blade cutting tile is so satisfying to me. <laughs> you're a sick person. Whoever that is, you're a sick. TJ <laughs> TJ, you're a you're a sick person. <laughs> <laughs> Brian put seriously with like two arrow points for the comment. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, TJ. All right, last piece. You know what's coming. We're going to ask for the names on this last one. Not yet, but you got to preload your comment if you want to get your name on the last piece of this stream. Tomorrow, we're going to be doing something so cool. I'm genuinely intimidated by tomorrow because uh, I feel a little bit over my skis with this situation. Um, but right, I'll show you kind of how to template because this piece of tile, ah, this piece of tile that we're doing here is, it's a, I'll show you in a second, but it's crazy. I mean, we have to template this whole thing. Um, it's going to be a nightmare, but um, you will see that. Oh, names. Five names. Five names. Come on, guys. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Five names. So I think I got what? Twenty-five names on here. Who wants to be entombed into this bathroom? Maybe nobody. Maybe. M O S M O S H H T A T A B A. Yeah. Moshtab Daba B A. What is it? Bree. B R I. B R I. Let's go, Bree. Then Blake. Blake with a C K or K E. Uh, K E. Just B L A K. Okay. Wendy. When L I N D I. L I N D I. And then. I love that we have like women watching this. That's so like that's awesome. I, I'm happy that my content is like frosty. Frosty. I'm happy that my content is inviting enough where like I'm not like a, like you know this stuff is not like that like hard and like I can definitely see a lot more women doing this stuff it's just like it has to not be weird you know what I'm saying like I feel like people make it weird and then it's like I feel like now I'm making it weird <laughs> so, by talking about it but um, I'm happy that it's inviting and it's not like a, boy, a boys club. Fernando, yes I do. On this live uh, videos, we can really see the real workflow of installation. Thank you. Some people are like, bro, like, like, I mean, I'm working the whole time. But people are like, that's all you got done? And like, physically, when like, people are like, some people, like, again, I'm just like, sometimes people are like, dude, I do a whole shower in a day. And I'm like, how? Like, what? Like, what? Like, I mean, yeah, I could probably have been at one piece ahead not doing this, but like, I mean, I can't imagine, like, unless you're cutting some corners, you're not, like, back buttering or priming, or maybe that's how, but, like, I don't know. TJ's getting off right now on this. <laughs> Ooh. Have enough 
to do. Long life is a good contrast to words, like seeing the thought process and seeing you work through the process, the project. Cool. And that's why I think in the beginning, and I, again, I'm just learning this as well, like these lives and streams or whatever, like what's the best way to do it? I think like in the beginning, if I just say like, here's what we're going to do. If you want to skip to the end, skip around. Cause like, you know, when you're streaming, that's fine. You can just come in, but like this will live on YouTube. You guys can reference this later on YouTube. So like, I think if people can then know to skip around, at least they have a little bit of like a menu of things that are going to happen. Well, let's hope we didn't mess up this cut. Ryan Gunderson, no one's doing a whole shower in a day, large format like that, especially when you add shelves, niches, and all the other little things that make it drop great. Yeah, I think people just troll me with it. Unless, like, even subway tile, I can't see somebody, like, doing an entire subway tile. TJ Donald, your live stream's changed my life. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, this is awesome. I mean, it's beautiful. Hold on, let me put the clips in and then we'll do our quick reveal. If you guys do enjoy this, you're saying you enjoy this, like make sure you're hitting that like button. That's how I know you guys enjoy this and how I'm like, yo, people like this. I can run to Catherine and I'll be like, Catherine, <laughs> people like this stuff. <laughs> We're gonna do more of this. Um, but let me get these clips. Catherine's my wife, by the way. If you're like, who's this Catherine? Yo, so real quick, how do these uh, spinach go on the docks? Yeah, so they go like this. Hang on, I gotta move this a little bit. So they go like this, and then they just tighten, tighten to basically like a screw with a big cap, like a big washer. And then they just basically make it flush. So let's say like here, wow, that's perfect. You don't really have to use it, but I'll just put it just for the... Aaron, gotta run, it looks awesome. Have a good one. Hey, thank you for tuning in. I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, we're almost done. Hold on, just one last one. I'm, I'm gonna step back. Okay, Alex, go over there by the door. Okay. The big reveal. Okay. Thumbnail. Bang. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, looks sick. Look how big this wall is. This is the biggest tile wall that I have ever done. That looks amazing. I'm really happy. So the next thing I'm gonna do um, is just add a half piece right here. Actually, don't we have that piece? Yeah, right here. I think it's this piece. I have lost it. I'm going to pull it on you, bro. I got to see this in person. <laughs> so that goes, that piece is going to go here. I still got to cut it and get the Schluter strip and all that stuff, but that's just going to go here. Um, I think it's upside down. Actually, no, I think that's it. Yeah, I gotta cut this off a little bit, uh, but that's what this is gonna go, and we I have a Schluter strip that's gonna go here, and then here right into this one. So I think it's gonna look so sick. Um, and that's the last piece we're going to do. <sighs> Bang, really pumped about this. I hope you guys enjoyed this live. Definitely make sure that you're uh, liking it. That's how you can support me, I guess comment below tomorrow we're going to do this so what here's what's the crazy part about this is we have to template this entire piece with all this stuff and cut this out out of one piece of tile um and that's frightening to me <laughs> like that's going to be really hard um so we'll see how that goes but i hope you guys enjoy this live i'll see you on the next one mm -hmm. and uh you can say bye hey, you flipped it around yeah say bye alex bye. <laughs> peace out <laughs>